if anybody uh, feels that the um, uh, accompanying committee. Uh, we try in many ways to reach to compromise with the Palestinian Authority, but unfortunately they rejected all our initiatives. And even in this stage, we still <coughs> continue and we call to the Palestinian leaders, especially to Chairman Yasser Arafat, to take responsibility, to express his ability as a leader, to express his leadership, to express determination and fight against the terrorism. By doing that, we can renew the peace talks. By doing that, we can minimize the suffering at the both sides, and we can reach to the point of the, to the line of the reconciliation. We can do it. Uh, Europe uh, tried, they, from time to time, they tried to give, to provide backing to Yasser Arafat, and I believe that by doing that, it's encouraging the terrorism in the Middle East. I believe that Europe, like the United States, should say to the Palestinian Authority, to the Yasser Arafat gentlemen, you should stop the terrorism, otherwise you could not be uh, our partner. Yes, Yasser Arafat has the ability to control, he inspiring the terrorism, he stands behind the atmosphere of the terrorism. Uh, at the last month, he announced so many times that he ready to sacrifice millions of shahidis. What is Said? Shahidis? It's a million of suicide bombers. If the leader says such a thing to his people, so the people accept it as a message of massacre as a message, a positive message of bloodshed. I have the biography, so let me go. <laughs>